Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you my favorite base locations on the island. Now, there are a ton in this video. I'm going to show you two different sets, essentially. The first 10 are going to be my 10 favorite spots to build up when I'm playing solo on the island. And the rest of them are additional base locations. I'm going to show you just about every spot that you can go to on the island that is reasonable and fun to build in. And that's kind of how we're going to do this video. But I'll start by showing you the 10 my favorite base locations. Now, if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for that algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel if this content helps you out. All right, so let's go and get started. The uh, by the way, just so you know, in the upper left corner is going to be where the coordinates are. So I don't want to hear anyone in the comments being like, where are the coordinates? You didn't say the coordinates. Literally going to be displayed the entire video in the upper left corner. So the first location. This is probably one of my favorite spots that I always tend to build because it's located on the lower left side of the map near Red Ob, and you have a ton of space to build in. It's a massive area that you can build with water on all sides. You have the ability to get water tames from the ocean to your base, and you have the ability to house just about any creature with the massive base location that it has. Plenty of room to expand. You don't have to think about optimizing stuff so you can build a whole bunch of unique buildings. And it's a really nice area. Now, this area is definitely great for any size tribe, but I love when I'm playing on my solar player server to build in this spot because it's low. Uh, it's very close. Like the locale is really great. You're nearby the deeper ocean parts. You're nearby redwoods. You're nearby an obelisk and you're nearby the swamp, which is also a very good thing. And that is why it ranks as my, I don't know, top 10 for sure, probably third or fourth favorite spot overall now base number two go ahead and show you another one here this is another one of my favorites i love the base locations that you can go to where you actually end up in an area that's just unique and can't be found anywhere else on the map this location is right next to the ocean it serves a purpose of being on the edge of the map so it's a little harder to get the resources but the fact of the matter is you can build some really cool stuff using this spot the reason i love it so much is you have a nice little place to raise water dinos and a really cool looking pool if you want to build a pretty base you can have an awesome little concept right here where you can actually drive a boat the entire way into this build a neat little gate and almost have castle like walls without having to try very hard Plus, you've got a little area where you can get your land dinos in. You can walk through this area and it's just a really unique spot with the ability to build up on the edges of this little ledge right here. You have a ton of room as well as a flat land on the outside of it. It's a really nice location. Now, it's very useful and uh, it, it has a ton of space. You can fit any large tame inside of this thing. And it's just a lot of fun to build an area like this. So definitely consider this one of your that's probably my number one or two spot overall. Now, next up on our list, base location number three, another one of those unique spots that you can't find on any other map in the entire game on anything, right? This is Herbivore Island. If you don't know where it is, it's in the bottom right corner of your map, and it's got to be one of the most unique locations in the entire game because it sits in the middle of the ocean. It has a massive flat zone. If you're playing on any PvP server, I mean PvE server, you will not be able to build here because someone will have spammed this entire thing with stuff, which sucks. But if you're on your solo player server, this can be a ridiculous amount of fun because it changes your play style. It has massive swaths of flat land. This area right here is actually incredibly deep, so you can raise any creature and drive any creature <clears throat> right up to the edge. Now, that's a huge thing for people that want to kind of change their game style. But transporting resources can be a little bit difficult, so you're going to have to get something that's got a lot of carry weight and bring it over to the island. And that's going to be the hardest part. But outside of that, it's such a fun place to build because you have a walk up area. You have a massive flat area. You have an underlying area. You can build a multiple level base. And again, it's probably one of my favorite locations overall to build. It's probably my number one overall to build on solo playthroughs because it's just a lot of fun like you can fit so much stuff up here you can have whole arenas you can build just crazy structures and the multiple levels with everything you could need is awesome as well now number four on my list just so you can see this one very similar to what i just talked about right it's got a unique area it's near uh near herbivore island way off in the distance However, right beneath me is an area that is a lot of fun to build because you've got a flat land up on top, like you can see me looking at right now. And then in this little area, you've got like a little cutout into the cliffy mountains right here. And it allows you to build right here and build a really cool multi-tiered 
base location where you can kind of like slip a ladder up or some stairs and then have a lot of really cool options to build tons of space to build in multiple levels safe from a lot of creatures plus the ocean is nearby so you can build a deep water area right off the edge plus there's some caves nearby which is really nice and useful especially for later game stuff which can be a lot of fun right you want to be able to change up your game style and then again this is why because you build right next to a cave you have access to get some pretty cool resources and it's just a fun location because of this little secret cave right here now again there, there's a lot of neat things about this spot um but but my favorite part is the multi-levels massive unique area that's kind of what i look for when i'm playing my single player mods um, and that's kind of just, you know, that spot right there. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the next base, base number five on this list. This one right here <clears throat> is going to show you another neat spot that is very unique to only this map. I don't know why I just clicked that button, but I did. Um, this is right next to Black Lagoon or Black Lake, whatever you want to call it. If you open up your map, um, you can see it's next to the Eastern Plains. And this area right here, when Ark first released, I'll give you a cool, cool concept, right? The graphics were terrible. And this lake used to be purple. It was just how it rendered in. They wanted to make it like a cool, scary looking bog kind of looking thing, super dark color, but it turned out to be like a bright purple thing. And then they decided just to get rid of the bright purple and turn it into an actual just lake. But the reason I like this one so much is you've got literally a hidden base location underneath the plains above, which you can also build stairs up to. And it's a really neat little hidey hole that you can go to without anything that can even spawn here. Plus, you've got water tames nearby, and secretly inside of this water, you've added a lot of really good resources. So, right here, there's crystal, there's metal. You've got access to just about every resource that you would need. And these underwater metal nodes are actually ridiculously powerful because you've got like 20 of them in this water right here. Plus, I think there's obsidian that you can gather, crystal, everything nearby. So just taking an Anki and going deep in the water is a lot of fun here. Plus, it's just a unique spot to build, which is what I like to build for in my solo player playthroughs. Again, really cool, lots of space and a lot of opportunity to build in the base like this. Now, at number six, this one is another one, again, near Black Lake. You can see that area right there was what I was talking about. I currently on one of my playthroughs have built a base on this area. This is a giant platform. There are three of them. So you've got this little out drought right here, a unconnected platform. And then a really cool platform that you can build a really neat base that has a awesome location. Now, the reason I like this one isn't necessarily because of the prettiness of the base location. You are above the lagoon, which is really cool. You are next to some cool flatlands. However, you are pretty central to most of the important things. You are very close to the Redwoods Forest. You're not far from the ocean. There's metal location there, there, and there. And then you're pretty close to snow biome. It's not super close, but you're not going to have to worry about extreme temperatures here because you're kind of in the middle ish of the map. So frozen and super heat are not very concerning. That is why I like this spot so much, just because it's super convenient for actually locating the different um, areas in Ark and just bringing them back to you. This isn't one of those unique builds, but it's one of those areas that's so convenient because it's in the middle of everything. That's why I like it so much. Now, there are some unique things that you can do with this one, but you know, you can do whatever you want. So base number seven. Now this one right here is going to be another one of those popular build locations on official servers. You can see right here, it's the Beaver Lake area or whatever you want to call it, right? It's got these massive out jutting walls. There is one, two, and three ways to get in from the ground floor. And this used to be a very popular PVP base location before they kind of added some of the dinos that make PVP broken. But people would put these massive turrets like towers up on these walls and then have a really big base down here in the center now it was a really neat thing to be able to do because you had access to water nearby with easy access to the beavers you can see that uh, usually you'll have a couple of beavers in this area i don't see any right now because i just did a dino wipe um but usually there's a few nearby but it's a big area that you can do a lot with right you can build up the walls you can build down the center you can build on these pillars you can build on this little thing and have like a fishing area because there's fish that'll spawn in there there's just a bunch of really fun things that you can do with this location, which is why it's one of my favorites, right? I like to build in unique locations that give you a perspective that you'll remember when you build the base at the very end, when you decide you're done, right? You wanna be able to remember the base and be like, okay, why was this so much fun? And this is one of those unique locations that you're not gonna find anywhere else in Ark because you've got that cool lake, plus the giant walls and all of that stuff nearby. It's just a fun spot to build and I really enjoy this one. 
Honda base location number eight. This one is another one of those ones that's very popular on PvP servers or PvE servers. And basically the reason is you have access to water. I mean, I didn't mean PvE, PvP, just PvE and uh, solo player servers. The reason, because you've got an entire open land base right here. Plus you've got internal water instead of having to rely on the ocean that does function as water. So you can drink the water and actually use it, which is pretty fun. You can technically raise small dinos here, um, small... Uh, dinos in the water itself but you do not have to i enjoy the fact that it's a unique location because you can build up on this little platform on this edge right here and have like a little fun little splash pad if you want to think of it that way plus the massive area is another one of those base locations and it's got a cool scenery all the way around it it's pretty central so you're near the excuse me you're near the actual snow biome over there and then you're near the carno island which is off in the distance over there which can be a lot of fun for taming things and more difficult games to get so there's a lot of unique things that are near this base location not the prettiest that's on our list but it's still one of those ones that's very awesome to play for your solo player playthrough now base number nine this one is another one of my favorites right if it's not my number one it's certainly up there this is in the middle of redwoods forest and it's a little hidden lake right now this little mini hidden lake is prop it's literally just in the middle of redwoods forest so it's literally smack dab in the middle of the map which is going to give you access to some really awesome and any direction you go, you're going to have awesome stuff, right? I love the fact that you have a deep lake here, so you can technically raise any water creature or cryopod anything up into here. You've got the ability to go to the cave nearby, which is right up this hill right here. It's a really popular cave it's called Swamp Cave. Now, and the area is very unique because down beneath, you've got some little structures that you can use to build a really cool, almost elven style base, if you want to think of it that way, in the middle of the woods. Plus, using tree platforms gives you some really neat abilities to build a fancy base in a very unique location. Now, that's what I look for when I'm building a base. So keep that in mind. But I love the area. Again, like I said, it's a unique spot. That's why I go to base locations, and that's why this one is so nice for me. Now, base number 10 is another one of those base locations that is very unique. This doesn't exist on any other arc map. This is the only area where it's like uh, a giant land-ish streak, if you want to think of it that way. It just goes all the way down the coast, and the entire thing is flat if you if you just level it and kind of remove everything from it. This entire area is deep enough to have a squid or anything inside of without any problems, and you can use the entire thing. And a really neat, neat thing about this one is right above this location right here, you've got a little water pad again. I like the uniqueness of it, which is what I look for when I'm making my bases. And you can build the entire, like build this just gigantic castle right here, right? Now, I love this location because it's got so much room. It is nearby to north, south, and to going to the Redwoods, but it's also nearby some of the most popular spots. You can see it right here in the ocean. Now, this is where you'll find a ton of the actual bigger creatures in the game. I don't know why, but up this coast is where all the squids tend to spawn with all the plessies and uh, uh, any anything pretty much. And then the entire coast, if you go down to the bottom of the ocean, you'll find a ton of angler fish plus the pearl locations, which is what I look for when I'm going for that stuff. But the location, location, location is what I'm looking for here because you've got so much stuff. Now, those are my top 10. I'm going to give you some bonus here that I'm going to show you locations that I love to build. I'm not going to explain too much about them. I'm kind of just going to talk about them real quick when I go to these next many locations. I'm going to do the, a little mini circle of the map to show you all of the best ones in each of the locations. So I'm going to go ahead and start off near Red Ob. This one, two locations. One, top of this mountain. Love building up here. I've done it quite a few times when I've played on this one. Just It's not very unique, but it's just fun because you're on top of a mountain. And then the second one is building anywhere on this lake right here. This one is actually a really deep lake. You can see how deep down it goes. So you can raise anything inside of it. And you've got a ton of room to build on the edges. I've built a couple of bases where I build on this island right here. You can see this island I'm on right here. It can be a lot of fun to make a unique one because you've got some really cool sounds from the river. And you've just got some really neat things that you can do because there's a ton of space and a bunch of different unique opportunities. So that's why I like this area. Now, next, if you really enjoy building, build on one of the obs it's one of the funnest things that you can do because you've got a perfectly flat land and you can do a lot of really cool things with all three of the obs and just a ton of space and on solo player you can make it so you can build literally anywhere on this area so you can see that i can just build straight up to it go to the boss fights whenever i need and have some really cool like i don't know 
ocean underwater things right down here and you can just leave your ocean tames on aggressive and it's just a lot of fun because they'll do all your uh, harvesting for you which can be useful so that's a really neat spot right over there now i don't like this spot very much down over here but i'll show you it anyways because a lot of people like to build up on it this little platform right over here this is a really popular thing on servers i don't like building on solo player mode because you're so far out of the way and there is no way to get to the top of this unless you have a flyer you have to have a flyer or build a bridge up to this because it's kind of like this this out sticking uh, rock in the middle of nowhere that almost looks like a certain movie rock or something like that going right off the edge right here um but it's a really neat location very easy to get to because you start literally right here and you can technically build a bridge right up to the top of it but it's just not my favorite because look how far you are away from everything and there's nothing super unique about it but again a great spot to build a lot of people love doing it i just am not a fan of that one now the next one i'll talk about is chaos corner if you've never been to chaos corner let me show you what i mean before we get there another one right another unique spot flatland right over here on this corner it's a lot it's just a massive area with a ton of walls access to a lot of ocean property right there and then you have a lot of stuff nearby because it's a little further up than the other ones you're closer to snow volcano and over there in the actual redwoods forest plus a lot of space to be able to build it's a really good one especially if you're playing solo mode it makes it easy to access the other unique features of the game and it's just a lot of fun to get to this area so next thing on my list i don't know why i love this i shouldn't because it's terrifying this is chaos corner i don't know if you've ever heard about this in the game basically there's a whole crap ton in this corner right here that tend to spawn i love building up here i, I don't know why it makes me happy that the chaos is gone and i just build massive bases here just so the because if you go here on an official server you're gonna see like 40 50 60 teams all spawn in at the same time and they're all aggressive and they just start fighting each other it's just complete chaos and I love building here to prevent that. I don't know why it just brings me a little bit of happiness to take away the chaos. Plus, you're super close to the snow without being in the cold. You're close to the mountains and you're close to some of the harder tames like Rex's, Argentavis and some of the other stuff like that. Now, now that we're talking to some of the more complex places to build and the unique places to build out here, there it is, is another great place to build because it's out. If you're OK building in the snow when you want to build like a snow castle, this little outcropping right here could be very nice to build on because it's flat and it's very very useful with the amount of space that you can get plus it's right above the water for water tames and near penguin islands so you can actually go get some penguins to get some polymer plus you've got a lot of really good resources here stone and some of these are actually oil rocks you can see because they've got like the weird looking there we go that's what i was looking for that's an oil rock right there and you can swing some ankies on those to actually get some really nice loot on that area so we'll go ahead and move a little more north to the snow biome. I don't like building on these islands, but some people love it. The best one to build on is this right over here because you've got this massive flat area at the bottom and some verticality here. You can build some really, really, really cool base locations. I like building them here um, when I have no other option, but some people like to build their snow castles in this island itself is a great, great example of what you can do. So that's a fun one. Another good location to build in the snow. Again, if you don't like island building is right over here where the river runs down. It used to be a little bit different inside of Ark because this used to not be frozen. They kind of changed that up with the newest uh, update with everything. But this area can be a lot of fun to build right at the end of this river because you've got a cool little flat location right here. You've got quick access to pearls because there are pearls right in the ocean. You can see them right there. And they are very useful to be able to just access a lot of difficult resources quickly on land. And again, this is that uh, the coordinates of that one. But I'm not a big fan of building in the snow. So, yeah, I, it's up to you what you do with that one. But I don't like this area just because I don't like how freezing it is. And I've always got to have fur on. And then sometimes it's cold. Sometimes it's not as cold. And I just hate figuring that out. So you can do what you want with that information. The next kind of area that I'm going to talk about is around. I don't want to go to this mountain because I don't really like building here. Some people love it because you can build at the top of this and you can get a really cool base location, in all honesty, at the top of this mountain just because you can just build this massive fortress with tons of metal nearby. And look at the view. It's kind of hard to beat the view because you're like, I don't know, it's just if you're in a real mountain in real life, you usually have the mountains or the uh, clouds beneath you. And that can be really cool to build on. But again, I like... Um, 
big flat areas that I can build in. So that's what I aim for. Now, if you want to go down to an area that I like to build in, if you go down to this little zone between the two mountains, I like building here because you're in the clouds, but you're also in a nice flat area with tons of resources. You go up the hill that way, metal. You go up the hill that way, metal, crystal, obsidian. Heavy, heavy tames, tapajaras. Um, obviously, I've got wyverns spawning in over here. Rexes, um, gigas can spawn nearby on the top of these mountains. Anything that's heavy, like Argentavis, the end game tames will spawn nearby to this area. So it's a lot of fun to be able to tame those in this zone. Now, up this mountain up here, one of my favorite places to build, but kind of sucks. You've seen, I mean, I literally have like a mini base up here right now but you can quite literally build an awesome fortress at the top of Volcano and you're above everything. It can be very end game to get up here though because it's hard to actually get resources and creatures and tames up here. And you really are killing a massive metal spawn, which sucks, but you know, it's your game. Do, it, do what you want with it. So definitely play the way you want to, but it's a really neat zone that you can go and actually access a whole bunch of different stuff. So. This one can be a lot of fun. Now, next area is down on this river right here. Pretty much this river itself is buildable. I dang, I went a little bit too short. Yeah, just a little bit. There we go. So this river, one of my favorites to build on. You can build pretty much anywhere on the river, but if you go to this waterfall right here, I love having unique bases where you build into the waterfall and like you're kind of back in the zone and the entire thing is more vertical than it is horizontal for your base, but it's a really neat zone that you can build in and just have some I know just good overall everything and it's just nice to be able to build in a zone like this now if you go away from the waterfall obviously it's a little quieter for some people but it's up to you with what you want to do for that so that is that zone right there you can do whatever you want with it so that's kind of the major ones that i want to show you the last one that i think is kind of like a little bonus perk spot that i love to build in is right next to the beaver spawns over here you can build a really cool location surrounded by water, almost like you've got your own castle and then have like a bridge coming off this side right here with a nice base right here in the middle of the beaver location. Now, some people would be like, oh, I don't want to remove the beaver spawns, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, if you just learn how to actually get some uh, some cementing paste on this island, it's a very useful technique. All you got to do is just go in a swamp cave with a frog and you end up with way more cementing paste than you could ever need. So there's a tip for you. But the entire map is kind of buildable. I like the entire map. The island is a fun place to build because it's very unique with what you can do. So you just have to figure out what you like to do the most. Now, there's a couple other small spots that you can go to, like this one right over here. Yep, this is the edge that I like to build on. If you clear this entire area right off right here, you can see what I'm talking about. It's just a giant plateau, which can be very fun to build on. And then the last one that I'm going to show you, the very last base is right above. There it is. I was trying to find it on the map and I couldn't see it. So if you go to the lagoon that I was talking about earlier, there's an open field. And if you go to the next level up, there's a cool Stonehenge looking thing. And you can actually use this to build an awesome base location because you can kind of use this as like a little know, like a starter kit to your base. This can be a lot of fun to build in. And it's just in the center of a lot of very valuable stuff. So it's a very nice location to be able to build and just in general, a great, great overall location. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. There's a ton of bases in there. I don't know, there's probably 20, 30, 40 bases in there and each one's unique. Um, obviously, I didn't talk about all of them, but just showing you the different areas. It's probably one of my island is my least favorite map overall, but it's got some really unique base locations. So definitely check it out for that. But if you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.